What's up, Ash Bash? Hello, anybody else that's deciding to watch. Um, look, Ashley, I have on lipstick. And, of course, it has to be a reason. It's the Star Wars lipstick. They had like five or six different colors. But remember when Afrobella put out her purple line and I gave mine to Asia? I always kind of regretted doing that. But this right here is actually darker than the one that Afro Bella put out. And it's it's okay. Wait a minute, where's the camera? There it is. It's pretty dark. I like it though. But it seems kind of thin. I don't know. I don't really wear, you know, lipstick. So I'm not sure if it if I just didn't put it on right, if I was supposed to put something underneath it to keep it on there or what but I've only had it on for like a few minutes anyway so that's not the main thing I wanted to show you my Dollar Tree stuff it's been a while I actually had filmed the video and then I didn't edit it and then I just didn't post it so that's why it's been so long so I'm just gonna show what I have because you've probably already seen the stuff that's on the other video. I have to go back and look and see if I got anything that I think is worth mentioning but I just wanted to show you some of the stuff I got last week that I need to put away because <laughs> daddy's like why are these bags not put away. But anyway so I'm gonna show you what I have. Okay I'm gonna show you what I think are the only Christmas items that I have. I'm trying not to get too many Christmas items because you know I have a lot of Christmas decorations already. But these are just the um, window clings, which I'm actually going to use inside the house on candle holders. And then I bought two of these trays. <laughs> I bought two of these trays. And the reason why I'm laughing is because whenever I got these, there was a girl in the store. She like comes in frantic and she's like, I think I left my phone uh, on the counter. And they were like, well, there's no phone up here. And then she goes, oh, the lady behind me, she must have got it, blah, blah, blah. So she was like, I'm late for work. I can't believe this. So I was like, hey, do you want to use my phone to call your phone to see if someone answers or something? And so she calls her. She goes, no one's answering. That lady took my phone. And I go, hey, why don't you go stand by your car and call again? So I walked outside with her. And she stood by her car. And her phone was in the car. So she was like, oh, my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, she ain't saying nothing talking bad about that lady stealing her phone. But anyway, so I go back in. The lady going. So about a minute later, I get a phone call. And I'm like, this this crazy girl. So I answer the phone. I'm like, hello. And she goes, uh, yeah. Yeah, who is this? I had lost my phone and I missed this call. And I go, yeah, I'm the person that let you borrow the phone. I told her, I said, you just need to take a deep breath and start all over again because <laughs> your day is not going well. I said, you just need to hit reset. And she said, I really do. I was like, you going too fast. She was, she was going too fast. She was rushing and everything because she had to drop her kid or something like that. And she was late and she was just, it was so, it wasn't funny because I've had days like that, but she was just all over the place, poor thing. Anyway, oh, did you hear that beep? That's my um fire detector going off because um, I need to change battery, which I bought some batteries from Dollar Tree today. I don't know how long those are going to last, so we shall see. Anyway, and then I got this hard candy. I guess this is kind of Christmassy because I only see, see this out at Christmas time. But I didn't actually get this for me. I got this for um, Patrick's brother, Mike Mike, because he loves this kind of candy, and apparently he um, can never find it. And I'm like, dude, it's at Dollar Tree. Go get it. What's this date on here? Best Buy 04. Why does it look like it says 0408? <laughs> I hope that's not right. Can you see that? This Best Buy date? I don't know about this stuff. What? Huh. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like messing with Dollar Tree sometimes with their food items. You got to make sure you check those dates. 
But since that was new candy, I just assumed it was okay. Anyway, well, speaking of food stuff, let me look at this. I think this right here say it's good until 2035. <laughs> I'm not, let's see, what's the date on these? I got these uh, mini wheat because they're not frosted and they have um, zero sugar grams in it. Yeah, unfrosted, no sugar added, and it's actually zero sugar. So I got that. I got two boxes of these. I don't see an expiration date on these guys, but I assume that they're okay. We'll see. Okay, that's the only food stuff I got. Um, makeup, of course. I'm gonna start wearing makeup. I keep saying that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start doing it. But I got these Elf, um, I don't know the eyeshadow sticks. This is Turkish coffee, and this one is Little Miss Thing. So. I like those and then I got this guy moisturizing lipstick um rosy go round they had a lot of these in there what this look like since I already have lipstick on my hand I might as well put some more oh I thought these things were long tubes it's tiny how do I get this out let's see Pretty pink. Got a glare from the light above. There we go. I like it. Now, will I wear it? That's the question. I already opened it, so maybe. Oh, this Star Wars makeup was CoverGirl, by the way. They had um, <laughs> mascara, and they had nail polish. But I didn't get those because you know what? The only thing that the only reason why I got this one is because Star Wars was we're a Star Wars family, by the way. Um, because it's on the thing, it can't peel off. The other one is just peel off it's like it's just a label and you can get them from out of the regular line. So them right there I'm not so sure about. Um anyway, I got these two little digital sports watches. I thought they were super cute and for a dollar you can't beat it. This first time I've seen watches in there. Jeff asked once and they were in there. So um little girls for Christmas. Got little boys if they like pink. You know pink was originally a man's color. Um and then of course I got two scarves. I got this guy there, the fleece scarf. This black and white damask. I don't know if you want this one, Ashley. You can get it whenever you come. And then blue and white. I, got, I don't really care a lot for the design. But I wear a lot of jeans in blue. So that it matched well. And then I got this little Essie. I don't think I have this one. And I keep saying I'm going to do my nails. And I haven't. But that is a silver metallic. And then I got this guy. The lip balm. The hat. An apple, a lemon, and a strawberry. But I thought the apple was the cutest and the most unique. So I got the green apple. Anyway, so here's the book I got. I got this Jack 1939. I started not to buy it. But as I said, I'm kind of obsessed with the Kennedys. <laughs> and I started not to buy it because I think it's a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. And I kind of don't like that. But I figured I'd give it a go anyway. This right here is about whenever um, JFK was in Europe. And then I got The Devil Said Bang. And I can't remember what this is about. But whenever I read it, I will give a review. But this is about the whole good versus evil thing. And then I got this little journal. And I thought it was so cute because for some reason I am totally obsessed with bicycles right now. And I like that it's made out of kind of craft paper material. I like that. And that is it for Dollar Tree. And then, of course, I stopped by Books A Million and I got this uh, five minutes 
five ingredient 10 minute cookbook because I want to eat better and I um oh look at this a mistake <laughs> somebody didn't get that right <laughs> but um I need to eat better I've been reading um the I quit sugar book and that's been interesting because I think I eat way too much sugar as do probably you also. So that's this right here is books a million again. I had a coupon and to get up to thirty dollars, I think I had to nickel and dime it. So I got this little pen. I got I'm gonna give this to you. A little peek Buddha appropriations at its best, but <laughs> I just I thought it was cute and I thought of you. And then I got this little bookmark last line. So you put it on your last line that you read. So that is it for that stuff. Okay, and what I'm reading now, I'm reading Blue Christmas by a little antique shop owner. I just started. I'm just on page, um, oh, I just, I'm on chapter five. And so far, the person isn't dead yet, so <laughs> the mystery hasn't begun. It's just kind of going through her life. And now, and I'm reading uh, this enslaved book that I had mentioned earlier when I said it's kind of risque. This book is very, very risque. If, you, if this right here is basically is smut and uh, I'm halfway through that one. <laughs> I'm halfway through this one. This one didn't take that long to go through. But it's kind of interesting. It's the Beauty and the Beast thing with a little bit of BDSM in it. It's okay. I, I mean, it's predictable because everyone knows the story of Beauty and the Beast. Now, this book, I finally finished this book, Lauren Conrad, The Fame Game. And I will say that I, it was okay. I didn't love it. And at first, I was really annoyed with it. But I had to keep telling myself that this book was not written for me. This book is written for somebody 20 plus years younger than me that probably likes reality TV and also that has aspirations to be famous maybe. I don't know. But I didn't care too much for this. This right here basically um, centers around four girls. Madison, who came up from nothing, and she's determined to be one of the glamorous people she see on she's seen on television and apparently she was on a previous reality show you know how they always bring back the troublemaker so apparently she's the troublemaker um and then there's uh what is her name uh there's kate she is also from a small town but she wants to be a singer songwriter so and she's the sweet innocent one then there's carmen her mother is like a famous um international star I kind of it kind of like the way they described her it kind of reminded me of Madonna and um, her dad is a famous music producer which would kind of remind me of like the Quincy Jones type and so that's her dad so she grew up in this privileged household and Madison is of course jealous of that and then there is, oh my gosh, they didn't really even talk about her that much. What was her name? She was just kind of the background. Her name is Gabby, and she is basically the ditz, the one that people laugh at. And she has an eating disorder. She's basically, she's anorexic. And they kind of hit on it, but they don't really talk about it much. They just talk about how skinny she is and how they've never seen her eat and that kind of stuff. But the how long this book is this book is 313 pages long and I could say they could probably chop it down to half that long because there's no depth at all to this book. There's really no depth to the characters like it's just kind of shallow, very surfacy. Um, Kate meets a rising celebrity, like a rising actor, um, a guy, and his name is Luke, and she falls for him, but um, 
that right there would have been a much better story if they just would have focused on them two instead of making it about Madison and Madison, I believe, already had her story probably in the previous three books. The the previous three books apparently went into how she came from nothing and how how her determination is. And this book is her dad and her sister show up and she's kind of pissed off about that because she wants to forget that she was ever that poor person. But they make her into this, this character. She's just not a nice person and it it just I don't know it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because it's like that's all she cares about whole thing she's just pissed off at everyone because she didn't have this idyllic life that the other people had and it's like that's not their fault that that isn't their fault and it just kind of you can't root for her um but the rest of the girls are okay but i guess the whole point of a book is to have conflict which there wasn't really any conflict except for in the story of kate and luke and other than that, this book is, is totally predictable except for maybe the last page. The last page of the book kind of surprised me. But other than that, it's just a bland read. It took me weeks to read this because I could only get through a few pages at a time. And then just a few days ago, I was like, okay, I'm going to finish this book. And I went ahead and finished it. But it was just boring and for me. But, you know, like I said... This book wasn't written for me. Maybe it, if I was younger, I went in on Amazon. I looked at the reviews and it had four and a half stars. <laughs> so other people seemed like this book. And I also looked at some reviews on YouTube and it's actually younger girls reviewing it and they really liked it. But I just thought it wasn't that good. It was, it was boring and predictable in my opinion. And I won't even say that was well written either. What drove me crazy about the book is that within a scene, like say for instance, someone's waiting for to do something, it'll go, and then she thought back to, and then it'll she'll think of like something that happened earlier. And then it'll go back to where she is, and then it'll go. And then after that, she thought about, and it goes back to something else. And this happened at least once in almost every chapter and it's just kind of annoying it's like just tell the bloody story if you want to tell me the story tell it in chronological order it's okay every now and then to jump back and do that but it happened constantly in this book and i just didn't like it so yeah so everybody that was after this book i got it and i'm gonna get rid of it so it's gonna go in the donate pile so the end glad i only paid a dollar for it kind of pissed off that i that i read it <laughs> but i was just trying to see what the hype was over this book and i wasn't impressed so on to the next um i'll probably do a review of this book i'm not gonna do a review of this book like i said it's beauty and the beast with some bdsm but i'll probably do a review of this um Blue Christmas book because it's Christmas time. That's why I decided to read it. And the and another book that I want to read, the ones with the pieces, the charms and the cake that I um bought like a few weeks ago. Anyway, that's it. I gotta put this stuff away. And so Ashley, I will talk to you later. I actually called you the other day to tell you something funny, but you didn't answer the phone and I just didn't bother to, you know, I don't leave messages. And so I will talk to you later, let you enjoy your hubby for this week until he leaves, I guess. So I'm not going to bother you too much, I guess. So I will talk to you later. And to everyone else, I hope that you are getting Thanksgiving together. I have not even thought about Thanksgiving. I keep meaning to go to my mom's house and ask her um, what does she want to do and should we put together a meeting. So I'm going to actually just show up on her. No, I'm not going to just show up on her show up at her house she might not even be home so i'm just gonna i'm gonna call my mom and try to get some stuff worked out okay well bye youtube bye ash bash i love you kisses kisses smooches bye